All right, it's unseasonably warm in the central Texas area the last couple days with the wind chills were down to about 24, 25 degrees. So I have not been get a, been able to get out there and fish. So I figured I'd do some gear reviews with uh, the holiday season coming up. Uh, one of the products that I've been using for about the last four months is the Angle UC30 uh, RH. RH standing for rod holders. And this uh, has been sitting on the back of my Slayer Propel carrying uh, you know, my, my drinks, a lot of dry gear, and a lot of fishing tackle in it. So it's a, it's a pretty good product. I'm pretty happy with uh, the purchase. You know, I was debating between a, a Yeti, a Pelican, um, the new Jackson kayak coolers, I believe the Orions are called, and uh, the Brutes. And uh, I decided on this one, and uh, just walk you guys through a couple reasons why uh, I chose the, uh, the Angle UC30 with rod holders instead of anything else. So uh, what I really like about this cooler and this one is the big obvious one, is obviously the rod holders. So you've got nice uh, four rod holders on the, uh, the left and right side, which uh, come in the matching colors. Uh, they're secured by uh, some uh, mounting brackets that uh, come installed on the cooler. I believe you can buy them aftermarket as well. But uh, two nice screws hold it in, uh, one here, and then one uh, through the bottom of the rod holder. So nice sturdy design. I've uh, been able to uh, you know, not install more rod holders in the boat and just use these, so that's a, that's a good feature. So the other side, same thing, no real big difference here. But uh, awesome, awesome feature. Uh, one of the reasons I, uh, I chose this one, installed rod holders. That's pretty cool. Um, it's also really lightweight. I mean, uh, on the uh, Austin Canoe and Kayak webpage, it says it's 8 pounds. So I can pick it up very easily with uh, one arm off the handle obviously there's nothing in it but extremely light and when you compare it to the you know the yetis the pelicans and the the brutes uh, they're coming in at almost double the weight so for kayak fishing i like to keep my gear as light as possible and uh, the angle obviously uh, comes in pretty well there uh, also you got stainless steel uh, latches and screws which is a big benefit maybe not so much for the freshwater guys but for Anyone who's planning to uh, go in the salt, you're definitely going to want the, uh, the stainless steel screws. So they uh, definitely uh, made that uh, upgrade, which is great and works for the uh, overall benefit of the cooler. All right, so one of the big uh, factors um, for me on this cooler was the price. And uh, coming in at around $80, I think you can find it cheaper some places, maybe with some coupons. but Eighty dollars versus you know two hundred, you know for a Yeti or one of those high name brands. Now you are not going to get the performance um, that you will on the Yeti because if you look at these sidewalls, I mean you can see where they saved on the weight, you know with the construction of the wall. And the Yeti, the Brutes, and uh, the Orions much thicker. But uh, this gets the job done for me. And like I said, for price of around eighty dollars. You know, five, six hours on the water, this thing has performed uh, absolutely, admirably, and I couldn't be more happy with it. Um, the dry shelf here, what a, what a great little idea. Just mounts on uh, the lip here. But as you can see, I keep a, a lot of tackle up there, keep it dry, uh, no rust forming on it. Uh, you can't put your wallet, you know, other of those valuables in there. Make sure that it's staying above uh, any of the wet stuff you put down there. So awesome uh, little idea but uh, pretty cool and I really like having it. So a couple of things that I don't like about the cooler, um, I'm not too uh, keen on this foam gasket. Now, uh, it works, it does keep it uh, watertight, airtight, but uh, durability, I think I would like to see a, a rubber gasket in the future. Um, as you can see, you know, to close the lid, you can definitely see the, uh, the compression down on that gasket. And when you put the latches down, you know, you can feel that gasket compressing. I'm not sure if it's better than rubber, but uh, just something I would like to see myself, uh, a little higher quality of a gasket. Um, another thing I don't like is the, uh, the back latches on the cooler. Uh, I'm not too uh, high on these. I don't know uh, how durable they would be with, you know, slamming the top around. But if uh, you do come back, unlatch it. And if you look down, you can kind of see, you know, these are just kind of plastic. They don't seem very sturdy to me, knowing that when that lid, if you were just to let it drop, 
you know, I don't know how much wear that's putting out, so I try and be careful with the with the lid and not to abuse these things too much because some very small screws lid uh, probably the heaviest part of the cooler, you know, and when that comes slamming down, I don't know how many you know uses you're gonna get from that. So I'd like to see those improved. Close it back up. And the last thing I'd like to uh, see improved and I'm not too happy about is, as you can see, there is no drain plug on this guy. Not anywhere. So just a, a convenient little feature that makes it easier to use the cooler. Um, I've heard a lot of people also say that, you know, having the drain plug and leaving it out and allowing that ice to get the, uh, the water to melt out actually improves the efficiency of the cooler. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but I would just like it for the, uh, the convenience to be able to drain it at the end of the day. Um, but that's pretty much it. I really don't have too many complaints about this cooler. Overall, I think it's a, it was a great purchase. It's on my boat every time I go out. And uh, check them out, Angle Coolers.